Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another card review. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Hong Ai, which is the Fire Dragon and one of the jackpot cards, 4.5% card if I remember correctly, right, of this uh, Charlotte series. Right, so let's take a look at the leader skill first. So this team, uh, this uh, card here has a playstyle of Dragon, Human, Elf and Demon, which is pretty diverse actually. So you're just missing a few races here and there. Right, so base multiplier, 6.5 which is pretty high right and then fire also possess 50 percent of other rune stones right so based on this you can see that most of your members should be fire all right and then moving on point number three if there are three or more dragons in the team team hp times 1.8 team attack times 2.8 additionally so looking at the multiplier it is best that you fulfill this more than three dragons in the team right so um this is gonna be pretty easy, right? I'm gonna explain this later, right? So, point number four, upon receiving damage from enemy's attack, turn five random runestones into enchanted dragon runestones, right? So this is not really a conversion, but then just an enchantment, right? So just to enchant the bot and giving you a bit of raised runes here and there. All right, so let's touch on the team skill. Alright, so for team skill for Hong Ai, you can see that it recovers HP itself, right? So this is very similar to all all the other dragon cards nowadays, like um uh what's that? Uh Chang Pi. Sorry, not Chang Pi, it's a uh, Qing Gui, right? Qing Gui, the black gold card, right? And then we have extended room movement time regardlessly, right? Number three is red dragon points. Very similar to what we have for Chang Pi, right? But it's just pretty much the opposite, right? I'm gonna explain that in details later as well. And then we have number four, which have a skill change for Chang Pi, right? So you can see that this card here have very uh, have a link with Chang Pi, and then which means that you pretty much will have to bring Chang Pi into the uh for for this Hong Ai playstyle, right? Which fulfills the more than three dragons in the team already because leader ally is two dragons plus Chang Pi. There'll be three. Right, so that is easily fulfilled for the leader skill back then where I explained. Alright, so looking into this red dragon points, this is pretty much very similar to what we have for Chang Pi. Just that Chang Pi is dragon points and this is just red dragon points and it works the opposite. Right? So the higher the red dragon points, the higher the team attack to the max times 5 additionally. And then when the red dragon points reach 100, uh, Hong Ai attack times 3 additionally. Alright, so... Uh, for Chang Pi, it's the lower the dragon points, the higher the attack, but this one is eas so much easier to hit, right? So it's eas easily at 100%, right? Once you ramp up the, the, the fire wound dissolve, right? So you'll constantly be 100% until you get hit by an enemy. Right, so Chang Pi being a water dragon, right, there will be a bit of changes in terms of his uh, active skill as well as his switching. Right, so let's take a look at the switching. Right, so on the left side is actually the original switch active skill, uh, the switching skill, right, and on the right will be the brand new switching skill when you put Chang Pi as a member for Hong Ai. Right, so you can see for Chang Pi previously was a dragon god beast playstyle. Right, so when you put it into a Hong Ai team, it's gonna be dragon, human, elf, demon. Right, it's gonna follow Hong Ai's um playstyle, right, which gives this four race a two point five time boost as well as straight away um increasing the dragon points to hundred. Right, and I missed out point number one, which explodes non water and non fire to generate enchanted attributive rune stones. Right, so previously it only explodes non water, so now it leaves the fire runes alone as well. So there's a change in uh, Chang Pi's transformation active skill number two as well, which costs you EP a uh, four EP, right? So this gives you a fifty increase in fifty dragon red dragon points, right? We will convert heart into enchanted dragon a uh, fire dragon runes, and then for one round more set ten times three, and then the next turn it converts um heart runes away as well, right? So this is a very good companion for Hong Ai. So if you have Chang Pi, previously when Chang Pi was uh, a solo. Uh, was a solo card it was super pathetic right so after that mad hate gave Chang Pi the, the transformation the transformation uh, dragon wear right which kind of improve it further and now it is even better as a Hong Ai member right so definitely uh, didn't regret drawing Chang Pi 
Right, so before I end off the card review, let's take a look at Hong Ai's active skill. Right, so it's at CD8, so a relatively long CD, right, but the active skill is very, very uh, useful. Right, so number one, most importantly, it restores all runes to normal state, which means that all your electrifying runes, all your petrified runes, frozen runes are all gone. Right, so that's a very good active skill right there already. Just point number one. Right, so point number two, explode all rune stones to generate uh, enchanted dragon water and fire runes of fixed numbers and fixed position. So basically, the odd columns are water, even columns are fire. Right, so for one round, basically your entire team have a damage boost of times two, right, which is these four races, and then the damage will be dealt regardless of trio elemental and quintet elemental shield. Right, so you don't really have to worry about the bot being just water and fire. Right, you can just bypass these uh, two enemy skills very easily. Right, in, in which we can see these uh, two skills pretty much everywhere now. Right, um, being uh, en enchanted quintet as well as trio elemental, uh, excluding light and dark. Right, and the best part is the bot doesn't have light and dark for this uh, active skill. Right, so very good. Right, so overall, I find that this card here is um, a, a, a job well done in, in terms of um, play style. Right, so I'm just gonna share with you my um, example, my team example for Hong Ai. Right, so I've been testing a bit of gameplay for this card right here. Right, before I made this video, so currently my setup consists of Hong Ai, Chang Pi. Right, so for my demon member, I chose Yok Sotov. Right, so there might be other better cards out there, but this is my current setup. I find that it is so far so good. It's pretty, it's not so bad. Right, so Yok Sotov for my fire human member, I chose. Uh, media for the damage boost as well as Yoko from um, Grand Lagan's collaboration right so remember that red dragon points when it hit 100% uh, Hong Ai attack times 3 additionally and then for Yoko it's gonna give the leader another times 3 right in term <laughs> for, for damage and Yoko converts more fire runes for Hong Ai so I, I believe there is a bit of a synergy there so I definitely bring Yoko for this uh, Hong Ai playstyle Right, so if you guys have any other team member suggestions or other team ideas for Hong Ai, you can also leave it down in the comments below. So overall, I feel that this is going to be a pretty strong dragon leader for now. Right, so extremely recommended to draw. Right, so that's all for today's um, card review for Hong Ai. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.